Hello, how's everybody doing? I, I'm gonna figure out which one of you guys keep coming around here and hiding my stuff. Uh, yesterday, I just had a bad, kind of a bad day. I didn't feel good and that. When I got home and looked at the video, I'm like, yeah, it's not worth putting up. And then, uh, but anyway, I ended yesterday. I got this Camaro up on jack stands. Well, jack stands and jack. Driver's side went the where the spring mounts on the front. Excuse me. Went to jack it up so I could put the jack stand under the car. The spring and the jack and that went right through the floor. That's how it rest. <gasps> the, oh, excuse me. How rusty this car is. So I got it braced. I got the exhaust manifold unbolted there. And I got the saws all out. I got a package of saws all blades out here. Think I could find them? Figured I'd go buy some today. Holy crap! I can tell it's been a while since I bought them. Anyway, I got this little tan metal box around here somewhere that's got all my saws all blades in it. Do you think I can find that too? I looked at the shop in town, I looked at home. Uh, I don't know. Seem to be getting misplaceful. Or I thought I was going to be better at keeping track of stuff because all the woodworking stuff is in one building, the car stuff is in this building. And now I still can't find everything. And it's one of those things I know I probably look by it. That's what usually happens. I'm looking for it. I look right over it. Then I go back when I ain't looking and it's like, really? Right there? But anyway. But no, like I said, I just had sticker shock over buying uh, um, Sawzall blades. Holy crap. They're not cheap. Bought two blades. <laughs> two blades for five bucks. Hell, like I remember you buy a package of ten for five bucks. Or a dozen. Uh, anyway, yeah, you need it, they got you, whatever, so. Now I got to saws all the mufflers off their shot. Then I can pull that exhaust out. Because I am not going to, because I don't want to be under this car any more than what I have to be to get done what I need to, so. But uh, yeah, I got to get this out because now I just got called. I got a brake job to do on a car. So... Oh, yeah, and I could have a motor job, but I don't want to get in the doing payments because I still got some that still owe me some money that, yeah, I, it's, I'd rather be paid up front and uh, I just, but I don't know. While I was walking around in the store looking for uh Saws all blades all but my back. I don't know if we got some more moisture coming or what, but uh, it uh, it just I almost got when I got in the truck. I damn near couldn't get in the truck. Just right down there, my lower back. It just and even sitting in the truck, I was like, oh my god, I can't even hardly handle sitting there. So I don't know. I, about a week and a half ago I took that fall and I think I actually screwed up my back but, well I'm going to see if I can get this part oh and then uh yeah right. and I've been years ago when I'd done this all the time I finally took an old Chevy drive shaft and took the yoke off the drive shaft so I had to have a plug to put in the transmissions well when I got rid of all my car stuff I started pitching stuff and that nah well yeah I pitched them so anyway so I picked up this little kit here yesterday when I was back in Sioux City getting the car parts for the kit oh yeah that since I didn't do that I'll show you that too uh, it's a plug kit for transmissions transaxles so slide the plugger in and it'll be plugged 
But uh, now here is the brakes for the wife's car. And here is the daughter's intake with a lot of little pieces. I'm like, oh boy. So I said last night I was going to go home and watch more uh, more videos on that. So kind of seal the box back up. So also, yeah, a lot of car pots were bought. A few tools, a couple of bills paid. More back to square one, but that just kind of tells you how far we behind we were. So, but anyway, I, I'm the, just what I pulled off this car already has saved me so much because the wiring harness is good for, for the headlights in the motor. The other Camaro, the previous owner, hacked up a lot of stuff. Uh, so I've got my good wiring harness now. You get transmission fluid. I think I showed that. It just looks like new. So, really don't know why they parked the car and quit driving it. Really don't. So. All right, well, we're going to get to work. All right, guys. Uh, I learned something. We got a new, sh new shop project. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, I'll loosen. See the arm there? I want to have to make a longer one because it is actually not long enough to reach back in there with the bumper on it. Unless I come in from the side. Or what I want to build is one of those A-frame gen uh, A-frame overhead hoist with wheels on it, but I don't have a lot of ceiling height in here, like I said. Alrighty. So Okay, yeah, just one more Well, this side's good. So, so this Camaro is closer to going back out the door. And it's warm. I'll finish stripping her down. And I am so glad the guy waited for me on this car. I mean, there is so many little nickel and dime things that. cost me a small fortune to try and buy or to try and find new of yeah, even if I could find them. So I have to plug in the tranny, transmission jack under there. That's free. Thank you. Shows the violation 9, 15, and 12 for speed and 
Get the other one. She thought she was gonna be off work by now, but I guess I'll let that drain for a little bit. But yes, there it is, guys. I just got a big mess. So, all right, we'll be back. Oh boy, guys, I kind of had a heart attack there. I'm gonna have to add this into tonight's video. I had the camera sitting there, my toe caught it, and down on the floor she went. First turned it on, wouldn't focus until I was about halfway out. I'm like, oh man. So then, uh, uh, sitting there, and then the thought went through my head, well, hit it in your hand from the other direction. Did that, bashed it into my hand, turned it on, focus, working. I had to come home and sit with the little one, or the youngest, I should say, for a little bit, and uh, I uh, uploaded the first couple of movies to make sure they come off the camera okay, and they did. So, back's feeling a little bit better. Uh, popped a bunch of ibuprofen, so, yeah, not sure what I done there, but. Well, we're going back to the farm. See if we can get that Camaro out and get my mess cleaned up from the transmission fluid. So, all right, we'll be back. Well, there's the motor. Mess is cleaned up. 
miles out, there is a pile of important bolts and parts there. Shroud, part of the air cleaner, drive shaft, one wiring harness laying there, radiator support, fan and all that, and fuel pump for the Camaro. So, it's a hell of a lot of parts. The other hood hinge was screwed. I seen uh, that piece of metal right there on the other one was bent. Oh, then uh, the support panel underneath the nose piece. That's still good. Uh, let's see. So yeah, I got that sitting there. Draining the oil out of it. It was full oil. I mean, it had antifreeze, it had oil. Somebody would have left the plugs in, I probably could have started the damn thing. But, uh, sprayed the cylinders full of a uh, PB blaster so I can start soaking before I tear it apart. And, uh, yeah, it's that time of day, guys. It's time to call our points, go home, get this uploaded, and get out of here. So, well, with that, I think that's what I'm going to do. That's the end for today. Tomorrow's done. Now, I might be back out here tonight. I don't know. You can get that motor and trainee separated. That's going to be a bitch since the motor won't turn over. Yeah, because I won't be able to get all three torque converter bolts. So, that means I pull it apart and there's another oil spill. So, I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know how I'll do that yet. I gotta think on that one, so. Yeah, and I tried taking the oil filter off this thing, and all I did is just crush. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, I'm out of here. See y'all later. Thanks for watching.